Taurus. What's poppin' Taurus? I got Vietnam, Chief Keith playing for you. So you might be going through a battle right now, Taurus, whether that's mentally or physically or emotionally. You might be battling a person, yourself, or a passion. Take it as it resonates. Do not take everything I say so literally. What I say may or may not apply to a certain aspect in your life. I could be talking about your friend and I'm talking about your family. I could be talking about your family and I'm talking about you. You just got to be able, you, you got to be spiritually inclined or in tune enough with your intuition to know what, where the message goes for you. Take, this is for Taurus. So wherever you have Taurus on in your chart, take that and apply it to that aspect in your chart. Take into account the planets in that house as well as the house itself. If you don't have Taurus in your chart at all, that means you have a black hole in your chart. And this may be something you are trying to fulfill because a black hole is an empty space and a space that is constantly trying to fulfill itself. So this might be uh, how you're trying to fulfill yourself. We are, we are still in the waning crescent moon, which means that it is a season of reflection. So you may be reflecting on past actions, future actions, and pre present actions or actions. So, you know... Take it as it applies to you, my nose. Mm. Song that's playing, playing right now is Let Me Down, featuring YBN, Corday, and Nobody. So somebody might have let you down, Taurus. Whether that's emotionally, physically, or you let yourself down mentally. Let's figure this shit out, though. One for Taurus, one for Taurus, one for Taurus, one for Taurus. Boom. You got a decision to make, Taurus. This is you right now. You're realizing you got it's like you got to communicate something that you're emotional about. And it's like you're sitting. You don't want to look at it. You, it, you can't move because you're holding two swords. You can't do anything until you make this decision. You don't want to make the decision, though, because you got a blindfold on. And it might have you emotional because I see this as, a, for some reason, I'm picking up a woman holding this card. And the water in the back, it's like... Not not just water, water in the earth in the back. Water with hints of earth. So it's something you were fixed on. It's something you seem you deem as stable. And with the water and the moon, you're real it's something that makes you real emotional. You might and you might have to communicate something, but you don't want to communicate and communicate. You don't even want to move right now. You just sit and acting like you don't have to make a decision, though you do have to make a decision. Whether that might be a mental decision, you might have to make a decision about an idea, you might have to make a decision about a mental foundation that you have set up for yourself, or you might have to make a decision on a physical person, and you in its air, you might have to communicate something to a physical person, but you don't want to communicate it because you feel like it's not balanced, because you feel like it will, you won't be fulfilled where it's at. So, let's continue to see what the fuck you got going on, though, Taurus. Again, the song, you might feel like it'll let you down if you make the decision. That's why this was in reverse, and that's why that was in reverse. Or you let whatever you're talking about, whatever you're, you, you have to make a decision about down, and that's why you don't want to look at it. That's why it has you emotional. That's why you don't want to make a decision, because you already let something down. It's either you let something down or something let you down. And that something could be a person, a place, a thing, or a physical object in your reality. But the space you are in is, I don't want to make a decision. I need one more. You don't want to make a decision because a plan you had didn't work. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, nine. Yeah, but you might end up making the decision to take action, but the action you take may be immature. So you might not even want to take that action. See, the water is back. You're real emotional, though. You come in with a small little fish in a cup, though, and it's immature action because it's a page. So you may take an immature action somewhere because your plan didn't work. You may take an immature action somewhere, so you may choose to take action. Though the action you choose to take may be immature, you are highly emotional. That is for a fact. The, the fish jumped out of the water and into your cup. So you bring in somebody a fish in the cup. It's goofy. That sounds like goofy emotions, if I'm being honest with you. But you're real emotional. You just don't want to show that. That's why you brought the fish, though. Because the fish is straight from the water. It's keeping you up at night. Whether this is uh, people talking to you 
or mental chatter, but you can't sleep what because of this decision you have to make. You may be dealing with an air sign because I got air here, I got air here, and then I got water here. You may be dealing with an air sign. You may have an air somewhere in your chart. Take that shit as it applies to your life. But uh, you not trying to make a decision on something that you're emotional about. And justice was served because of a lie. Queen of Swords, I take that as somebody lying. And something, it's either you moved on or somebody else moved on outside of you. I need one more card to complete the story for Taurus, though. Where's my water bottle? I'm not thirst. Heal the world, Michael Jackson playing. I played yesterday. So you, it's either you moving on emotionally or something's moving on emotionally. I don't think this is you because you want to take an action. You're probably going to take an action, whether it's immature or not, because you, you're going to end up making a decision that leads to an action. But it might be too late because something already walked away. Justice was served in a situation. It was a third party situation and that, and that person, place, or thing walked away. Whether that's a mindset, you, you probably had too many different emotions about an idea and you left that idea alone if this is mental and you want to take a new emotional beginning somewhere, even though you left so many cups behind, you're going to take an emotional step towards a new idea. Maybe, maybe that emotional step towards that idea is immature, but you're going to take that emotional step anyway because you've decided to leave something alone. Or you're deciding to take an emotional step towards a person, place, or thing that makes you emotional. That person left you alone because of a third-party situation. Take the story as it applies to you. One more car for Taurus, though. Two. Boom. Oh, yeah. You, yeah. I'm telling you, something walked away from you because you was, you, was, you was trying to manifest immaturely. You was trying to manifest. See, this is this is somebody manifesting in the in the grace of the good Lord. Oh, let me readjust. Somebody manifesting in the grace of the good Lord. You see, universe is on your side. You got your wand in your hand. You using your uh, your thoughts, your emotions, your communication, as well as your passions, on a solid foundation to manifest life into your garden. Your garden being your life. You're manifesting life into your life. You feel me? Upright, reverse. It's like you're you're trying to you're attempting to manifest life into your life. But you're you and you're using all the tools, but you're using them in a toxic manner. So you were probably being toxic with your communication, your passion, as well as your emotion and your thoughts and ideas. And something walked away from you, and you realize you 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 took a minute to look at it. You took a minute to look at all the hard work you put into whatever that thing is, whether that's a thought. This whole bush. It's filled with pinnacles. So this whole bush is filled with thoughts, emotions, feelings, and ideas about whatever this decision is, whatever one of these swords is, whatever you're taking an action to, whatever you try to manifest, it's that bush. You were working hard to manifest that bush. See the passion? See the passion? You were working hard to manifest that bush. The passion stick right there is right there. And you, you combine that with the sword because it's a hole. So you 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 use your passion and your communication. You might have been fucking because Tauruses are, are fucked. See, and then and now you want to take a quick action towards that. You might be trying to fuck. I'm telling you. I'm getting I'm getting sexual energies from this. And that might be the immature action you want to take. You want to try to make shit better with sex. I don't think that's going to work for you, Taurus. That's probably why you're not making the decision on something. Because you know that might not work. Because that will be trying to manifest immaturely, Taurus. Uh, whatever it is, though. If it's your, if it's a fourth dimensional thing, which is a battle with self. Look, you're heartbroken. I just split the deck. you heartbroken about something, Taurus. What the fuck you got going on, Taurus? you heartbroken about something you invested time in. On the bottom of the deck, again, is the... Nine of Swords and you up at night. You can't sleep because of so many mental communications because you didn't take action on a passion you were passionate about. And now you don't have the strength, but you don't find the strength and you might take a petty action. You might you might take a childish step to manifest something the wrong way though. So now so right now you're just sitting there thinking about what you should do. You communicating with yourself or you or you and you just trying to decide if you want to take this communicative action or this action to manifest something back into your life, but this is in reverse, so you might not, and then we got the page of, page of cups, so you might you might try to manifest the wrong way, Taurus. Uh, I suggest you, um, they said don't put your two cents in. All right, but that's you, Taurus. 
Uh, take it easy, Taurus. Take it easy. Seems like you got a lot going on on your mental scapes right now, Taurus. Woo! Oh, that's it. What am I shuffling for? 1010, yeah. The song that's playing is Heal the World. You might just need to take a minute to heal your world, Taurus. So that way when you when you decide to look at these two swords, you don't come immature. So this instead of this being upright, it's reverse. Heal yourself so that when you decide to take the blindfold off, this page of cups becomes, it goes from immature action to mature action. And this magician goes from reverse to manifesting properly. That way you don't have to be in your head anymore. Heal yourself. Taurus, you need a heal right now. Michael Jackson, heal the world. Save it. it. It just said, save the world we live in, heal the world we live in. You gotta save your world. Your world being your thoughts and your physical body. Take care of yourself for a little bit before you try to take this action because if you take this action the wrong way, you're not gonna manifest what you think you wanna manifest. You're gonna manifest a heartbreak instead of a happy ending for you. I'll holler at y'all, Taurus. Yee -yee.